Hi everyone, this video will show how you can enable a location-based conditional access policy in Azure AD. It is an excellent feature because you can make sure only users from a certain location that you specify in the policy can log in to Office 365, specifically Office on the web. I believe you need to have an Azure AD P1 license to enable this feature. We need to do two things. First, we are going to define the locations, then after that, create a conditional access policy. As you can see, I logged into Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and from here, select Azure Active Directory. If you don't see Azure AD Conditional Access under Favorites, select All Services, and from here, you can add it to your favorites. Under Managed, select Named Locations, and then select Countries Location. I will name this Named locations we have two options here if you select ipv4 only what happens is when the user signs in azure ad resolves the user ipv4 address to a country or region and the mapping is updated regularly you can block traffic from specific countries when you know you don't have any employees working from that country but if you go with gps coordinates the user will need to have the microsoft authenticator app installed on their mobile device every hour the system will contact the user's microsoft authenticator app to collect the GPS GPS location of the user's mobile device. In my case, I will go with IPv4 only. And here I will select this option. The reason I'm selecting this option is because sign ins from IPv6 addresses cannot be mapped to countries or regions and are considered unknown areas. Only IPv4 addresses can be mapped. So I have to select this option. Now I'm going to block every country except the US. So if someone tries to log in, let's say from Germany, the user gets blocked. and I'm going to create this policy. I'm on the same page. Now select policies, new policy, name your policy. Under assignment, I need to select users and groups. You have option to include or exclude. You can do all the users or select users and, and groups. I'll select users and groups. Since I have only two users, I can just find them from the list, add them to this policy. But if you have, let's say 20 or even 10 users, what I would do is create a security group, add the users to the security group and add that group to this policy. But for now, we'll just go and find them and just add them to this group. If you like, you can also exclude someone or a group, but for now, I'll just, I'm gonna use the include option. Under cloud apps and actions, I will select apps. From this list, you can select the cloud apps. I'll go with the Office 365. As you can see, these apps includes some other apps within the Microsoft 365. Also, when it comes to conditional access policies in Azure AD, make sure you know about service dependencies. To give you an example, so if I add Office 365 Exchange Online, I will get this notification. I will put the link in the description and make sure you go over the document before implementing any conditional access policy in your company. I will select then under the conditions, I'm going to add the location, the one that I just created. It's like, yes. And here's my named locations. Under the conditions, I only modify locations because this policy is a location-based policy. Under access control, I'll set block and then select. I'm not gonna touch the sessions. For this example, I'll just leave this alone. Make sure you enable the policy and create the policy. So our conditional access policy is created. Now it's time to test here on my Windows 10 machine. And from my VPN app, I'm going to select Japan. So right now I'm connected. Let's see if I can open office.com. Technically, I'm not supposed to. And let's see if the policy will stop me from connecting to office.com. Then I'm going to sign in. And here's what I get if I try to, let's say, log into office.com from Japan or anywhere except the United States. So this is what our user will see. Now I'm going back to Azure AD and check the logs. Here's the sign-in events uh, in Azure AD. As you can see, 
at 11 41 p.m it shows someone tr was trying to log in from tokyo and here's the ip address and you can also see the device info what browser this user was using and the operating system under authentication details you can see for example this user used password to log in or if it was successful or not so under succeed you can see false and result details show you for example access has been blocked due to conditional access policies so you can see the detail if you go to conditional access you can see for example what policy denied or blocked this user from logging into office.com and here you can see it's location based now let's say someone needs to work from outside of the country you need to go and uncheck that country from the policy and that user can access to office.com or any office 365 related product it's very important actually to let you know before traveling outside of the country if you wonder how i check the logs once you logged into azure active directory admin center from the dashboard click user sign-ins and from here click on add filters scroll down and select conditional access now we have three options select failure click apply and from date you can select for example last seven days or last 24 hours and from here you can see all the failed logins that has been blocked by conditional access policy or any other policies that you may have in your azure ad let me know if you have any questions about this video thank you for watching have a good day bye